I use these guitar picks as a pry tool for phone and tablet teardowns. I like guitar picks because they're durable and work well for that purpose. There are times when holding the picks with my fingers and prying something open, like a phone screen, would work better if the picks had a handle. I'll show you how I made a quick and easy pick handle next. These are the guitar picks I buy from Amazon. There are different thicknesses and I usually get the light version, which is the thinnest one for this brand, at 0.5 millimeters. I like that these picks are so thin, they easily squeeze into the seam of a phone's cover to separate it from the chassis. Yet, it's durable and doesn't get deformed or kinked very easily. Parts needed for this build are simple. I'm using half inch PVC pipe for my handle, along with the same guitar picks. Parts for securing the guitar picks in place have not been determined yet, but I'll figure that out later on. The handle length is not important. Hold the pipe in your hand and imagine the pick at the end thinking of how you want to hold the handle. If anything, cut it long so it's too long, you can always shorten it as needed. Cutting the slit in the pipe to hold the pick is probably the most important part of this build. So, I've been doing some experimenting on pipe scraps. I've tried long slits that provide enough space along the pipe to fit the pick and also some kind of clamping mechanism to prevent the pick from slipping out. After enough testing, I realized that clamping on either side of the pick won't work because the clamping pressure would end up only squeezing that side of the pick. What I decided in the end was to cut a short slit that the pick would slide into partially, protruding from both the side and the end of the pipe. In doing so, I'll have a long tip out the side of the pipe and a shorter one out the end. Both can be useful depending on the situation I need them for. To secure the pick in place, I decided to drill a hole straight through the pipe and the pick. A bolt through the hole will keep the pick from pulling out of the pipe. A nut tightened on the bolt will squeeze the pipe together against the pick, helping to keep it from sliding around. The pick might still be able to slide loose, but it'll be very hard to do so if the nut is firmly tightened. If you can't notice it here, I did have a change of heart on the handle size and went from the long one that I changed to, back to the short one. To me, the short one felt easier to control while I used it to take the rear cover off of my Samsung A11. I'm testing it by doing a screen removal on one of my spare Samsung phones to see if I can remove the screen without damaging it. Not only do I want to be able to take off the screen, but I want to take off the screen easily, since the handle is meant to make using the pick easier to use on certain tasks. After working on this phone and getting the screen off, I realized the edge of the pick I use the least is the pointiest one. I use the other two points and the top edge more than the pointy end. This is my current redesign and there will probably be many more revisions in the future. I hope you can make use of this DIY accessory for picks in your next teardown. Leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. That's all I have for now and I'll catch you in the next video.